What's up, man? Surfing Chef here again. We've got a good one today, man. This is one of my favorite cakes. Carrot cake from scratch. So, of course, stars the show. We've got a pound of carrots here, ready to get grated up. And uh, we've got flour, cinnamon, and I use a little bit of pumpkin pie spice, too. It calls for three tablespoons of cinnamon, but I just split it up between that pumpkin pie spice. And we also have baking powder, baking soda, teaspoon of salt. We got some fresh California pecans here, vegetable oil. This is confectioner sugar for the frosting, cream cheese butter frosting with vanilla and orange zest, the best frosting you've ever tried, trust me. We've got some sugar here. Look at that, this is not a healthy one. This is like equal parts sugar and flour right there. It's about two cups, but it's actually done by weight, but it works out to about two cups each. And same with that one. That's a lot of sugar right there. So got the old school mixer here, ready to go, four eggs. And that's about it for the ingredients. So we're gonna go, um, we're gonna go right in here. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna grate the carrots because it's really loud. The the old school food processor here. I'm gonna get the carrots grated, and then we'll come back, mix the eggs. We'll put all this together. The oven's preheating, and then we'll get the cake in the oven. Get the frosting made. This is a good one. See you in a few minutes. All right, so let's put this carrot cake together, man. We're gonna start here. We've got four eggs going in. Try not to get shell. Oh, look, the first one got a little piece of shell there. This is a trick to get it now, though. Come on, baby, there it is. Use another piece of shell, it comes right up. If you try to get it with your finger, it takes all day, man. Sit there and chase it around. That's nice and clean there. You see those guys that are badass, man, They're like the short order cooks, they just like an egg in each hand, one-handed egg cracks, two hands at a time. Those guys are the badasses of the flat top. All right, so we're gonna whip these eggs up. We're gonna go in with the oil and the sugar and then we're gonna have our flour here. So I got four eggs and we're gonna whip these till they're nice, nice and aerated. What we're doing right here is we're bringing air to the party. Air gives everything nice volume. Nice spongy cake. Good old carrot cake, man, I love carrot cake. Who would have thought to put carrots in a cake? They're really sweet though when you eat them, they're really sweet. I wonder who the first guy was that thought, hmm, let's try this out. I'll stick his hand right now. All right, so these are starting to get a little bit of body to them. Nice and frothy. Getting nice and aerated the term there. I'm old school man, I still got the hand mixer like mom used to have. Everyone now's got the badass kitchen aid. Alright, so those are pretty frothy. I'm going with the oil. Three quarters of a cup vegetable oil. If you wanted to be healthy here, you could just uh, use applesauce, but with all that stuff for the frosting, like why bother? A couple cups of sugar here. And this is the unbleached sugar, it's a little better for you. It's not so refined and processed. Less chemicals. I'm gonna drop the speed down a little bit there. And with that. Mm, nice and thick already. Going in with our flour, cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to go a little bit at a time on this. And I'm going to drop this down so I don't throw it everywhere. A little bit at a time. Mix it in. It's a good shoulder workout, too, man. Nice and thick already. This is bread flour here. 
a little, works a little bit better for cakes and bread and stuff. That's what they call it, bread flour. Captain Obvious, right? that in. Man, that's two containers down. Oh yeah, and now it's starting to look like a cake batter. Nice and thick. Alright, we're just about ready here to add the star of the show. Alright, that's a good consistency there. Mm. That's good. Very good. It was always my favorite thing when my mom would make a cake or something. I get to lick the beaters and the bowl, lick it clean. Yeah, I know you're already saying, there's raw eggs in there, dude. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I know there's raw eggs. I know that they potentially sometimes carry salmonella. But to lick a good cake bowl or some beaters, like, I'm rolling those dice, man. I've been doing it my whole life. Haven't got sick yet. Alright, so. Carrots are in. No, in. Our pecans. Right there. And then a box of raisins. Because I like raisins. If you don't like raisins, don't put them in. If you don't like nuts or you got someone that's allergic to nuts, leave them out. It's all you, man. This is your way. It's your kitchen. You make it your way. You like it. Oh, yeah. That is going to be killer right there. Killer cake. It's going to be nice and moist, thick. So I got my oven preheating to 375. This is going to bake for about 45 minutes. And uh, just check it at that time. And if it needs a little more, you know, you stick it to the, the knife in the center in the highest part. And if it comes out clean, it's good to go. If it comes out still wet, put it back in for a couple more minutes and just keep trying it that way. So you get it nice. Look at that. That is just killer right there. Nice carrot cake. This is just as good as any carrot cake you'll ever buy. You know those ones at the gas station? A little piece of carrot cake. It's like $2.79 for one piece. That's ridiculous, man. Don't pay that. Don't get it at the restaurant where they charge you like six bucks for dessert. Unless it comes with a big old scoop of ice cream, then I don't know, man. That's pretty good. We just came from Publix where we bought some of this stuff to make this recipe and they had a about this big, maybe like a about one third at best of what you're gonna get out of this cake and they wanted like six bucks for that. And no thanks, man. This one's gonna be better because this frosting takes it over the top. All right, so I'm gonna get this in the oven. I'm gonna clean up my little mess here. We're gonna come back and make the best frosting ever for this carrot cake. We'll see you in a few minutes. All right, dude, best part of this whole thing is coming up right now. We're gonna make the frosting. Any good cake deserves a good frosting, okay? When I was working on the ships as a merchant marine, we used to go to the crew mess and have our lunch and dinner and they would always have some kind of dessert, usually like a frozen pie or some frozen cookies that they baked. Sometimes somebody would actually bake a cake and it was always overcooked and there'd be like a quarter inch of frosting. I'm like, dude, don't even waste my time. What is this shit? I want minimum two inches of frosting, okay? That would make this cake edible. So this frosting is not going to disappoint. So we got... Uh, Two packs of cream cheese going in, definitely not healthy. This is full caliber cream cheese. This isn't light. We got a stick of butter and I've let these sit out and soften. That's the key. And even like after letting them sit out, it's still kind of a pain in the butt to mix this all up. That's going in, but the softer the better. It's just gonna make it a lot easier. Yeah, this is pretty soft here. We're gonna get the mixer on this here in one second. I just like to get it kind of started with a spoon and then a little bit of cinnamon is going to go in, I mean not cinnamon, what am I talking about? Vanilla. Vanilla is going to go in there. Let me see if I can get this going here a little bit without slinging it everywhere. Oh yeah, it's slinging. Yeah, that's mixing it up good though. Oh yeah. <laughs> We got frosting shrapnel going on. Doesn't take much though. Mix it around a little bit. Get the butter and the cream cheese incorporated. Let me get some of that off there. All right. So into this, we're gonna add about a teaspoon 
of vanilla extract. And this is the secret ingredient right here. This navel orange, I picked this guy out, had a nice dark orange color. And we're just gonna do about the other half of this orange in here. I already used some of the zest. Plenty left for this. This just gives it that, that little background hit of orange in there and it just goes so well with the carrots flavor and it just takes your frosting over the top man this was going to set you apart from other people's carrot cake yours is going to blow them out of the water and this is the reason why right here people are just going to eat it and it's just going to be like oh my god what is that little hit of orange i'm getting is there orange in this and you're like no it's just the frosting and it kind of makes it pretty too you get little orange specks in your creamy white frosting here it looks really good very nice uh finishing touch there there's a little bit more here and there. We just want the dark orange parts. We don't want any of the white part. The white part's bitter. Just the orange part. Got all those oils in it. That's it right there. Get all that goodness right there. Give that a little stir. Mm, man, that's going to be good. There's a little stray right there. And the warmer it is, the better. So luckily here in Florida, it doesn't take long for stuff to get to room temperature to soften up. That is looking good right there. All right, in with some sugar. Back with this guy. Let's give this a try here. Nice and slow, man. Nice and slow. Easy. A little bit at a time. If you dump the whole thing in there, you're gonna have a mess. I got a mess already and I only did like a quarter of it. A little bit more. Slowly but surely, man. This is going to be so good. This is better than any carrot cake you've ever had, probably. You'll never want to buy that stuff at the gas station again, I'll tell you that. Okay, easy boy, easy. Getting crazy with the cheese whiz here, man. Mmm, dude, that's so good. I'm a pretty messy chef. I always make a big mess, but you know what? So what? Clean it up. Look at that, yeah. Ants gotta eat too, right? We're here in South Florida. I'm sure something will eat that. Just keep the gators out. Oh, that's coming together nice, man. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to spend some quality time together here real soon, I promise. Yeah, me and you in the bowl. Look at that. I probably can't see those little orange specks in there, but... Oh man, this is good. All right, so the cake's in the oven. 45 minutes at 375. This stuff's gonna just sit here and let those little orange zest goodies get incorporated. And then the cake's gonna come out and cool off and this is gonna get frosted. So we're gonna put some good pictures there and we're gonna give this a try. So we're gonna get this mess cleaned up and we'll come back when the cake's ready to be frosted. I'll <laughs> see you in a few. All right. Frosting time. So we've got our nice bowl of uh, creamy frosting here. See our nice little orange zest in there and it's been sitting nice and incorporated now. It smells delicious. So what I did was I cut this this carrot cake up into like three pieces and then we had some left over too of course for for the chef. So I got these little, these are the takeout containers from when we order uh, Chinese food sometimes. They bring them to you this. We save them, what a perfect little way to give someone a little snack. I mean, dude, if someone brought this to me, carrot cake with frosting, are you serious? I'd be so stoked you just made my day, bro. Thank you, man. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, three lucky people are gonna get some carrot cake, man. Probably some to the neighbors and some to my buddy Joe. And who knows, man? Who knows who's gonna get lucky? We're not, I know one thing for sure, I'm not going to be chintzy with this frosting, man. Don't even, don't even come at me with that shit, bro. Put some frosting on that bitch, man.
Excuse my French, I'm sorry. I get all happy with frosting. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right there. And you gotta make sure the cake is cooled off completely. And uh, otherwise this stuff is just gonna melt and it's a mess. So I put this in the fridge for like half an hour, let it cool off, that way I can put the frosting on and not even worry about it. Yeah, we're gonna go double up on there. Double up, man. This is so good. I love carrot cake. I love carrot cake just because the frosting is so good. The cake itself is good. It's just, I think by nature, it's like a really moist cake. Um, because it's the carrots bring so much to the party and you got the oil in there so it's a nice moist cake and then you got this frosting that just takes it over the top and you can get all pretty and fancy with it you can put this on a on a pedestal with your offset spatula and really make this frosting look beautiful you could throw it in a piping bag I have one and do your little uh, designs around the edge but for me, like I'm just not that patient, man. I'm not a cake decorator, I'm more of a chef. We had to do some of that stuff in school and I wasn't very good at it. So mine may not look as pretty as some of the others you've seen. You can take and make the marzipan carrots and I could probably do that, but that's another like 30 minutes, dude. I just want to eat the cake. Let's just get this done and eat the cake. So yeah, that's as good as it's gonna get for me. I don't care if someone brought this to me. I don't care if it's all pretty or not. I know it's going to be good. I'd be super stoked. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy um, making some carrot cake. Give it a try, man. If you got any questions about the recipe or any other cooking techniques, hit me up anytime, man. Surf and Chef. And you can find me on Facebook and Instagram, Surf and Realtor. If you know anybody looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, I'm your guy. You know, you need to know how to cook something, I'm your guy. So right now, I'm the guy that's going to go right into this nice bite of carrot cake there. Mm. 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 No way, dude. I'm going to call. I got to find a rehab center. This has to have crack in it or something. That is so good, man. Mm. Just going to have a moment here. Wow. That's foodgasm right there. Anybody want to have carrot cake throw down? Bring it, baby. You guys have a good one. See you on the next one. Go get some waves. It's flat in Florida. So bummed. I'd even paddle out with a bunch of kooks right now just to get some waves.